Hi, I'm Morgan. Welcome to my channel and my bedroom. If you recognize me, it's probably as the microjig guy. I do all their videos. And if you have no idea who I am, it's probably for the best. So I started this channel to document a project. I'm building out a prefabricated building to serve as my home shop. It's gonna get delivered within the next week or two and it's gonna be bare bones. Uh, no, no flooring, totally open stud walls, no insulation, any of that stuff. So from the ground up, I'm gonna be turning this thing into my own little slice of woodworking heaven. So just to give you a little backstory, when I started woodworking, I lived in a house with a two car garage. We sold that house and right around the time I started working for Microjig, we bought this house. And because I was in there every day, I had full access to their shop, it wasn't really a big deal that this house didn't have a garage until COVID hit. Everybody started working remotely, quarantine and all that. Um, and so, as you can imagine, creating woodworking content without a wood shop uh, was extremely difficult. So to keep a steady stream of content going, I spent the next few months building this tool cart for my dumpy little plastic garden shed. I, I documented and shared every step of the process on social media and um, found that it really resonated with our audience because a lot of people were in the same situation. Recently displaced, stuck at home, uh, had more time to invest in their woodworking, but uh, very little space to do it. The shed's obviously not an ideal workspace. I live in Florida, so it gets unbelievably hot. There's mosquitoes everywhere, sometimes snakes, and sometimes meth heads wandering around looking for things to steal. And I'm a pretty tall dude, so with the cart inside, that shed feels real, real cozy. But throughout the project, and especially afterwards, I kind of started to realize that I have a real knack for optimizing small spaces. And the general reaction from the woodworking community seemed to validate that. So taking into consideration everything I learned from the cart build uh, and the new space that I have, here's what I designed. It's a 12 foot wide, 32 foot long prefabricated building I bought from a company called Easy Portable Buildings. Check them out, real cool. So it'll be delivered in about a week or two and it'll sit right next to the house where the shed is right now. To get in there, I'm gonna have to remove a big section of my fence and I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the shed and all the stuff inside of it. First thing I gotta do is get some two by fours and frame out a wall. Uh, the first six feet behind the front door, that's going to serve as my office. I got to tear out any of the landscaping along the side of the house so that the installers have enough clearance to anchor the building. It'll have standard 110 volt electrical service with, uh, I believe, nine can lights. I just need to get my electrician out here to connect it to the panel. I know everybody says it's child's play, I should just do it myself, but guess what? I don't mess with electrical. I just don't. Nope. Then comes the fun part, shop setup. Um, super excited. I've got a lot more space to work with now, but it's still not that big. So I want to be as efficient as possible with the space that I have. I redesigned the tool cart that I built for my shed for this space. Uh, it looks somewhat similar, but here's some key differences. The table saw is pretty much in the same spot, but with a little bit more surface area to the left of the saw. I moved the router table over to the right of the saw so that I could use the same fence for both. I'm utilizing the space under my outfeed by putting my CNC on an adjustable height cart that rolls in and out. Also under the main top, I'm gonna put a 12 inch planer so the material can pass through underneath that top surface with plenty of outfeed and doesn't need its own dedicated space. I do have a joiner planer combo that I bought for the cart, uh, but it only has an eight inch capacity, which is fine for a joiner, but not great for a planer. So I'm just gonna be using that machine as a joiner from now on and have a separate planer. That's gonna go over here on the side. I've got in-feed and out-feed extensions. That just kind of makes it feel a little bit less like a bench top tool and more like a more like a real one. I wanna be able to take my material from one tool to the next, one operation to the next, with as little movement as possible. Here at the miter saw, you cut your board to rough length. Turn around and there's your joiner, ready to flatten. After your last pass on the joiner, turn around, look down, boom, there's your planer. When you pull that board out of the other end of the planer, you're already standing right by the table saw, ready to cut it to final dimension. The miter saw station takes up the entire back wall. Um, it's got two tool chests and uh, some cabinets to store tools. So the good folks over at Wall Control sent me some panels and some accessories to help keep all that stuff that I do need out and easily accessible organized and looking nice. But I don't wanna just be organized. I wanna be more organized. It's like a whole different level of organization. I'm sorry. Anyway, assembly station. I've got multiple different clamping surfaces here to pretty much handle any common clamping and assembly scenario. I've got my clamp wall over here, got my dovetail clamp rack. I'll just put like glue and I don't know, whatever up there. 
Oh, and here's what I did for the bandsaw. Bandsaw's over here. And instead of having a big long outfeed uh, that just sits there and takes up a lot of floor space, I have my outfeed set up on these uh, collapsible hinges. When the hinge is deployed, that bar there sits level with the top of the bandsaw. And when it's folded down, just sits flat against the wall. Lumber storage is gonna be up on wood racks, kind of right there next to the, the roof line. And uh, I've got some additional storage over the ceiling of the office. Whew. That was a lot. If you're still here, kudos, you're a trooper. So if you're into the project and looks interesting to you and you'd like to follow along, be sure to like and can't do it. The whole like and subscribe and like smashing bells thing is just so cringy to me. You people are smart. You people already know how to use YouTube. I don't have to tell you. So if you like this, you want to follow along, do all this stuff with all the buttons. That's pretty much it. Next update will be delivery day. I'm supposed to get a date uh, within the next couple of hours. So hope to see you there. Thanks. Bye.